are headed to Algonquin. We're doing our very first portage, or at least my very first portage, at Smoke Lake in Algonquin. Um, and then we're gonna be camping overnight at Rag Lake. Then get out the of here. The portage inside. just started. And we are now walking. Well, don't pretend over you're to carrying anything. To Smoke Lake. Then, yeah, then, just then, one, then, one hand. Then. because we're stuck in wind and current. It's been about an hour and a half in or so, so I think we've got like 30 minutes or we still have another hour. Uh, we'll be in 30 minutes, we'll be at the port done. We can see our destination in the distance. Ooh. We made it. We made, well, not yet. We made it well, halfway. We across Smoke Lake and I think it's not a small accomplishment. No, we had a lot of current. So now we're going to carry the canoe. I guess we're going to go up there somewhere and then there's a connected lake. Yeah. Right. Okay, we'll see you there. So we have now officially made it to Ragged Lake. We just finished the portage. We carried over the canoe onto the other lake and this is going to take us to our camping spot. <laughs> trying to mark our territory. There are 20 spots on this site and we are just scoping the scene. This could be a good option. This is good flat land. Uh... Yeah. We have found our spot. So what we're thinking is we're going to set up our tent right here and then be able to face it this way. So in the morning when we wake up, we got a little view of the lake. Got some dry firewood to make a fire later on today, tonight some logs, lots of space. If you wanted to camp with a ton of people, there's definitely enough room to pitch a few more tents. It has been an adventure. I think a total of six hours between the time we left Toronto to getting here. Oh, more than that. Oh yeah, I don't even know what time yeah. it is. I have, a lot more than that. Yeah, I, I kind of lost track of time. So yeah. you know, it's been a very long Cause... journey. So now we're just gonna empty out the canoe and pitch up our tent and just enjoy the rest of today. She's a beauty. Have a little entrance way facing the lake. Beautiful. Our campsite is right over there, and now we're just on a little island. We brought our sandwiches and just gonna enjoy and have our lunch over here. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. What's amazing is we have this whole island to ourselves. Size of these mushrooms? Yeah. It's gonna be some nest over there. Oh, 
here. So this is what I'm gonna start with. And uh, when it gets started, then I'll, I'll put some bigger wheel. Good structure, good processes, but especially good wood. Nico tips. I am cleaning up the interior of the tent. This is the view that we have from the inside. We got this tent from Canadian Tire. It fits perfectly two individuals, but I swear you can squeeze in maybe two more. Um, and so we've got all of our tarp in case it rained. Um, this bag is actually really great. Entirely water resistant. We also have our grill in here for food and grilling food. We've got our um, all the sleeping bag cases and all the tent equipment in the bag. We've got water bottles primarily. We have a Nico's bag, a lot of our snacks and food. Um, we may have a little bit more water bottles in there. We have all the clothing that we brought for this trip, which is our pajamas, just one top each and some clean pants. We have our toiletries. We have a rain jacket, which is also wonderful because this is completely compact and it's folded within the pocket of the rain jacket. So basically you can stuff the whole jacket within the pocket to make it into a little pouch and you can clip this on to around your waist or over your backpack, perfect for hiking. And yeah, we got a little pouches here to put portable chargers or your phone. Um, we've got our inflatable mag uh, mattresses underneath. We've got our sleeping bags and we've got some inflatable pillows. And we suspect that it's gonna be really cool tonight. I think we were looking at the weather and it's going to go pretty cold, two degrees, one degree. So we have our winter jacket just in case. Nico got a beautiful fire for us going. We got some lasagna and all we gotta do is add 500 milliliters of water onto the stove and then pour it inside and you're good to go. Here we have it. Some. Some value. Slightly questionable. Wow, it's like a ritual. Spoken. The lady has spoken. Ooh, she's windy. <laughs> what is this? Much better. High quality. High quality kiss. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good mattress. Good mattress. Got my inflatable pillow. Got the sleeping bag. And we're getting cozy. It's still light outside. Can't believe that. <laughs> Come here to enjoy the piss. And here I have. It is. You came here to enjoy the what? The piss? I came here to enjoy my piss and here I have <laughs> the piss. <laughs> Which one? Is 
So it's 8.30 right now and we've just been chilling for the last like three to four hours um, waiting for night to fall because it's getting very, very cold. So we're wearing multiple layers. I'm wearing my winter jacket and like two sweaters. Um, and we're just trying to layer as much as possible. Yes. It's still light outside. Yeah, it's like 8.30 is. and still light outside, but we know that as soon as it hits dark, like we won't, it'll be really cold by then. So, yeah, so we want to be prepared. We want to be really prepared. The great thing is though, I've never camped this early in the season, but yeah. you avoid all of the mosquitoes, all yeah. of the bugs. Yeah, no bugs. There's lots of pros to it. Obviously it's a lot colder at night, so you just have to be prepared for that. I think if we got like one more sleeping bag and use it as a blanket, that really could be helpful for next time. I don't know. Let's see. We haven't slept yet, so I haven't slept yet. But I I'm guess cold. tomorrow. I'm cold we'll... already, and it's like I not. Think it's a feeling. It's not the worst yet. No. It's no, it's like not any... even the beginning. Yeah. Exactly. No, I think we'll have to wait until tomorrow, and then we'll be able to. Too. And I'll be able to speak more about it tomorrow. Yeah. Exactly. Had fun today day one so much oh not so much so much oh so, so much. much yeah that's what i like to hear yeah it's been a good day tomorrow we're gonna wake up pretty early to head back because yeah um we're gonna try to catch the current Sunrise? while it's still calm the water yeah. while it's still calm um yeah we're yeah. gonna try to, to to get out of here by sunrise and yeah. Still enjoy the morning and take a little bit of time, but I think yeah. waking up earlier enough so that we can do that. Yeah. And then still beat the crowds. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We've only been here for the weekend, so just one night. Yeah, but it feels like we've been here for a while now, no? He said it feels like we've been here for two days. <laughs> it really does feel like that like i swear yeah because we woke up at five this morning we woke up so early it's, so it's this yeah. day has been like a long day it's been such a long day i think we explored every single little island every swamp every beach <laughs> we've just been running around acting like kids and and then we've just we literally spent like two hours playing around with fire and like trying to ignite different sticks and yeah. To jumping around off logs yeah. and it's what we needed yeah it's been so nice to just yeah. act like a kid again <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's starting to get darker i can see by the coloring of the tent yeah i'm curious to open up the window but there's just not really any point no i just wait till tomorrow morning. the anticipation all right well all right good night good night in the middle of the night and you know, we heard footsteps all around our tent and i thought that it was a bear or something because it's so loud like bam, literally bam. literally it's like footsteps Something surrounding all of our tent and it's 1 a.m so i've got four more hours of this and nico he's like i need to go pee <laughs> like uh there's something literally right behind us in our heads He's like, I'm going to go up there and check because I want to go pee because I'm all mighty. I hear the footsteps. And so he just goes out there. But yeah, we're like fully in the deep, deep woods. And it's the very first day of camping season where they opened up. So I'm like, we're entering their territory. Like, I don't think they're used to humans being in this area yet. Oh, yes, right? Okay, Anywho, you're good. I'm just like ultra paranoid right now and i'm trying to calm myself yes down. you are and i'm ultra tired and i would like to sleep <gasps> yeah <laughs> did you just fart on camera no all right mm. <sighs> we made it so Ooh. tired so cold this morning there were so many animal oh, so animal cold. noises throughout the night, um, which was beautiful, but at one point it got Ooh. really eerie. We heard so many different animal passings with footprints. 
and at one point I thought that like there was an animal right on top of our faces on the other side <laughs> but yeah it's really cold this morning it's 5 five thirty right now um so we're gonna just quickly pack up and then head back how are you feeling this morning are you cold tired yeah a bit tired I feel like I barely slept yeah a bit tired I mean yeah. you kept me awake like a big part of the night right Sunrise. Oh wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's just peering in. We're going to try to get a fire going so we can enjoy a little bit more of the morning and then hit the water before the currents pick up. Without a lighter. No way, really? Yeah, just by blowing on it. Well done. The lighter is garbage. What do you mean? I tried to light it up, there's no more gas. So Nico just lit this using his survival skills. Because the lighter is dead. Just making the tea right now, so uh, we stay a bit warmer because it was a cold night. It was freezing last night. It's still freezing right now, actually. <laughs> the temperature changes so much up here. Yeah, probably close to zero, but uh, the water should be uh, boiling soon, so it'll keep we'll us warm. So we just packed up all of the stuff into the canoe. Um, right after a glass of tea and maybe a little bit of food and not that much of an appetite this morning Then we're gonna pack up the tent and then we'll head back Great campsite. We are going to leave now. We're going to miss until next time. Until next time. Yeah. Am I going to film this whole journey back? We'll see. Some of it, maybe. Oh, you got burned on your nose. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take the canoe to the first stop now. Goodbye, Ben. Let's go. Goodbye, Moose. That came last night. By campsite. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. In the distance, we're coming up to our first portage on our way back.
garage is clear this morning, which will make it easier for us to unload and get our way out quickly. Okay, we're gonna unload all of our stuff and we're gonna head through the first portage. Is there water I can drink on? Yep, there's four bottles on the side. That is open. We're walking over to the other lake now. We're gonna have to do like two trips, I think. Nico is a trooper behind carrying the canoe and I've got all of our equipment and gear. Pulling up to Smoke Lake, second lake. Smoke like starts off peaceful, but midway, totally different story. Back at the parking lot, Nico drop off the canoe back at the rental space. And we've got our paddles here and I just loaded the car. 